For me, serving others has just been a natural evolution of my life. Service for me was less of a calling and more of a, just a natural extension of, of my upbringing. A native of North Carolina, the son of an Army Command Sergeant Major, Richard Reed grew up as one of six children in a tight-knit community with strong values. After high school, he made his first effort at continuing his education, but found that perhaps there was another calling. My first attempt at, uh, at university life was less than successful, so I backed out of that, went into the military. In the military, Richard served four years as an airborne ranger in the Army. And realized at that point in my life the value of an education. Uh, and the value of an institution like Indiana University uh, and was able to get an undergraduate degree and a master's degree uh, that has put me in a position to, to better myself, uh, to contribute and, and to give back to my community. After he graduated with his social work degree, he went and worked for the Veterans Administration and he was out there working with homeless vets in Indianapolis. He started out as a, as a generalist social worker and I can tell you probably the best job I ever had. Veterans who have served their country and, and have fallen on hard times for, for a variety of reasons. The opportunity to work with the, that population and help uh, connect them back to uh, society has been uh, you know, so rewarding and so valuable. An incident at the Veterans Administration led Richard to take advantage of an opportunity to be trained on how to manage disruptive behavior. This training became the catalyst for a major turning point within his career. So he went to these classes, and he not only participated in these classes, he embraced those classes. And then he became a teacher of these classes. His teaching experiences led to the request to oversee the VA's National Workplace Violence Prevention Program. He became responsible for over 200,000 VA employees and more than 100 medical centers. Richard's skill set grew as he began to coordinate and advise other national institutions on violence prevention. The combination of knowledge as a clinical social worker, military background, and prevention preparation allowed Richard to rise to the top of his field. But then... 9-11 happened, and President Bush asked Richard to pull some plans together because what they had were old plans from after World War II. And Richard did a remarkable job. People were impressed with how he was able to get one agency and another agency to work together. He was becoming known as a relentless problem solver and became a fixture within the White House Situation Room. Within quick succession, he served in roles with the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, and as a Deputy Special Assistant to the President. He was in charge of America's response to the tsunami in Japan, tornadoes in Joplin, Missouri, to earthquakes in Haiti. When the earthquake in Haiti occurred, I was, uh, I was at the White House, and when I asked him, you know, what is it you want me to do down there, uh, the response I got was fix it. Worked with some great people, probably 400 different uh, non-governmental organizations and really the opportunity to spend time with them and bring folks together uh, to solve somebody else's problem uh, was just a heck of an experience. For a brief period, Richard transitioned from the White House and was recruited by the American Red Cross. He has an indispensable ability to bring groups of the brightest people together and never lose sight of what's at stake. He gets a call one day from President Obama and said, we need you back at the White House. There's a disease out there, it's called Ebola, and we need a plan to save America from Ebola. In order to stop Ebola, there were three hotspots in Africa. Two European countries took two of the hotspots, and Richard took Liberia. About a year and a half ago, it was announced that Liberia was Ebola-free. And it was all because of what Richard did and the plans that he pulled together. The president had always told us uh, that he expected three things uh, from our uh, disaster uh, activities, that they would be aggressive, to be well coordinated, to be comprehensive. And um, I think we're still doing that. He was a public servant, totally humble, and went around quietly doing his job 
but he had a major impact and saved countless lives throughout the world because of his work.